favourite gear really has two dimensions to it. Affection and performance. Some of my favourite items of gear are perhaps no longer the lightest or the best performing, but because I've used them for so many years they've become favourites. Others, it's very much the performance that makes me like them. At, um, starting with that crucial item for all walkers, which is footwear. My current favourite footwear is Innovate. Not any particular model. There's two or three that I like. These are the Rocklight 370s. But ultralight footwear that's really comfortable, I think Innovate is way ahead of anybody else. With socks, I like Merino wool. Um, there's a number of brands. Tico are my current favourite. Legwear, synthetic trousers. These are Montane Terrors, which I like because they've got nice vents at the side for hot weather. Um, and the fabric's very light, fast drying, windproof. The same Montane again with a wind shirt. I've always worn wind shirts, which I know some people regard as superfluous, because of the superb breathability. And these days they're extremely light. This is the light speed, which I particularly like because it's got a hood. So if there's a light shower or a bit of a cold breeze, I can just pull the hood up, don't have to bother getting out a jacket or a hat. And for base layers, merino wool. This is Icebreaker, but really there's several brands, I reckon they're all pretty good. Now, this not, doesn't keep you very warm, and if it rains hard, it won't keep you dry either. My favourite warm wear, which I tend to carry all year round, and which surprises some people, is a very, very light and thin fleece top. Now, there's nothing technical or sophisticated about this, it's a sweater. But I like it because it's not too hot, so on cool days I can wear it under a windproof or a waterproof, keep me warm enough without overheating. It packs very small, it weighs 215 grams, and I think this is the best use for fleece. And this is years old now, so even though it's light, it lasts. When it's raining, depending on the time of year, I like Paramo. Now this is the, the Adventure, Bellez Adventure Light, which is the lightest top Paramo have made. Um, so it's currently my favourite, but it's really the system that I like because it's so breathable. However, as I tend to run hot um, and can get sweaty very easily, even this lightweight one, I found a bit warm in the summer. So in warm weather, when I still need a waterproof, I like ones made from Event. And this, which is one of the lightest Event ones, is the Rab Momentum, which I've been using a fair bit this summer, and which I took on the TGO Challenge, which is May is usually on the edge of when Paramo might or might not be warm enough. And in really cold weather, whoops, here it is. I like down and this amazing item which is the Montbell ultralight down top and which doesn't weigh any more than the fleece sweater but is three or four times as warm. So from, from October to May I'll carry this to wear to wear in camp and if it's extremely cold I suppose I could wear it under a waterproof, so I've never actually done that. But when you're in the tent and it's frosty, it is nice to have a warm top to put on. And going on to the tent, my favourite for many years has been the Hilleberg Acto single hoop tent. It's very stable, it has exactly the right amount of room for me, and because I've used it so many hundreds of times, I can put it up extremely quickly. I know exactly where to put all my gear, how to get it organized. Um, so it's a favorite for that reason as well. I don't have to learn new things about it. Now, sleeping bag. Again, I always like down. And outside of the really coldest winter weather, my favorite for quite a few years has been this Rab Quantum 200 which is very light, 650 grams, and keeps me warm down to freezing without needing to wear clothes in it. 
and again as I say this is several years old and it also packs fairly small for going in the rucksack. Now the pack itself, as you can see here, this is the Golite Jam 2, um, which is the latest version of the Jam, and although it's slightly heavier, I think it's the best, because instead of a smooth nylon back, it's got this foam, and that does actually make a difference both to comfort and in hot weather, how sweaty your back gets. So I reckon it's worth the weight penalty. And just to the ads of the padding, I like to use what is the newest bit of gear, I guess, that I like, which is this Neo Air, which is an air mattress. And I must admit, I never ever thought I'd be describing an, an air mattress with no foam or anything inside it as a favourite bit of kit. But for the weight, this is actually the most comfortable mask I've ever used. So it's become a favourite extremely quickly. Another fairly new item that's become a favourite is the Caldera Cone, which is a, a rather strange mess device, which looks like a bent bit of metal. But the genius with this is, it slots together, if I can, if I can get it to go together, that's it, like that. And the stove, which is one of the, the little you know, coke can, whatever, mess burners, the stove can sit inside it, it's protected from the wind, the pan sits in the top to form a seal, it's incredibly efficient, it's ultra light, and I think, you know, for meth stoves, it's absolutely brilliant. So that's become a favourite in the last year. The only, the only disadvantage, of course, is you have to have the right size pan for it. But they do come in different sizes, you can't put different pans in. Now, I don't always use a meth stove, on longer trips, meths is just too heavy. And then I like a gas stove, and this is a an extremely lightweight gas stove that's astonishingly small. This is the Primus stove. You can see it just fits in the palm of the hand. The legs snap out like that. Made of titanium, screws into the gas cartridge, and yet it's astonishingly powerful. It doesn't come with one of those horrible automatic pizza igniter things, which I always break so you don't have to carry the weight of one of those around. And instead, a simple favourite bit of gear I like is the fire steel, which will light this very quickly just by striking sparks off this bar. And with this, I like to use a very old bit of gear. In fact, an extremely old bit of gear, which is one of the very first titanium pans, which I bought nearly 20 years ago, which is the Avenue 0.9 litre pan. Um, and which, as you can see, it's been on lots of long walks and it's still in excellent condition, which does at least show that, whilst expensive, titanium will last a very long time. And finally, trekking poles. These are controversial items in that some people don't like them. I don't understand why, because I think that handle on the pacer pole is absolutely brilliant. Um, and when I use ordinary handle trekking poles, they feel wrong to me now, I've got so used to these. And that's a, a set of my current favourite gear.